Remember when this compact bush looked like plastic? That was a bad time. Wooden curtains. Who would have thought? You start good, Brambi. Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're gonna do something that we haven't done in a really, really long time, and that is build a house. Gosh, I'm so excited for this. I literally have not been building in Bloxburg for ages now because I haven't been motivated. And now I was like, you know what? I kind of want a small house, but there is a twist to it. We are going to make it off the grid. So let's get right into the video. So first of all, we need to start with things that are off the grid, that you can use off the grid. What I mean with off the grid, by the way, is that if your bills come and you do not pay them, everything in your house is still functional. Let me actually turn off my bills before we start this video so that my bills, if they come, I do not have to pay them, which yes, amazing. All right, so putting down the stuff that we need to live off the grid, we need something for food, we need something for fun. We have all of the new industrial stuff now, we could as well make something industrial. And then for hunger, we are going to live on quick meals, which means we have to go to appliances and I'm actually going to get the picnic basket. Fun fact, if you go up to the picnic basket, you can actually close it. If I click it correctly, use, there we go. You can close it, it looks like this. It's really small and narrow, so that's really good. Now, of course, the first thing we have to do is plan out the build that we want. Now, I do not want it to be too big of a build because it is an off-the-grid build and I do kind of want to keep it small. So right now, I'm drawing the walls down. Very straight walls. All right, so I do want this part to be windows. Wait, I made it, oh no, I made it too large. I already am making a lot of mistakes here. So as you can see on my paper, one square equals one square in Bloxburg. So yeah, the house is gonna have a little bit of a weird shape to it. It's not too big, as you can see. I'm still drawing stuff on it. I am amazing at drawing this, I know. Also, you can use candles for lights, so that's really good. And then a double bed right here. And I do want a bathtub somewhere outside, but that's, yeah, that's not for now. From door is gonna go over here and then I do want some sliding doors maybe wow that was the straightest line I have ever drawn some sliding doors over here maybe that would be cool a glass ceiling here somewhere that could actually work okay let's get to building now so I just copied over what we have done on my iPad and I'm gonna see if the doors actually look nice or not I do want a lot of light in the house because well it's gonna be quite dark even though we are gonna use candles but I think this could work this pivoting a glass door could actually work however back side of the house I mean, yeah, that could be really nice if it's all open. A lot of wind coming in. That could be really cool. So bringing the outside in, really important for an off-the-grid house. But then we have drawn out some stuff and that is the kitchen table. It's funny how this table that came out in 2016 is still the most expensive table we have. It's just a side table, which is, I don't know, it's funny in my opinion. But continuing on, so we have a table here. Since the family that lives here is gonna be very eco-conscious, we want to use as less plastic stick as possible so I'm using these metal chairs. I was gonna put a chandelier above the table and then I realized you know what <laughs> no <laughs> we're off the grid. Then for the kitchen bit this craftsman stuff is so pretty though. So we don't need space for a microwave or anything electric. We don't even need a sink because no electricity. Just seeing something right here. I mean this could work. Can we add another one? No that will come out of it. So this could work to add like some appliances on it or I mean some food in this case some canned food and stuff like that. We need the basket that we took out. I'm just gonna put that in one of the shelves if I can. Yes, I can. We also need to start thinking about lighting. Now the problem is that only candles work. So we're gonna put a lot of candles down. Oh gosh, I just put down a table just to add some candles on it. Wow. We also need some doors into the bedrooms. The dresser is a really nice piece to put in your uh, living room. And we're gonna use some of these shelves so we can put some more candles on there, but also our books. Oh, and I still need to hide my toothbrush somewhere as well. Sh somewhere. Okay, there we go. Should I put a candle? W would it be weird if I put a candle in this closet? I wanna see something. So if we put the medieval torch, which, well, it looks a bit aged, but I do wanna test something. I do wanna test some lights actually, because this is an oil lantern. I Oil should work if you do not pay the bills. If we turn off the electricity, will it still give off light? So I think this went out. Yeah, this went out. So we cannot use the oil lamp. However, this works. I should have left some space for a fire place actually I should maybe I should replace that all right change of plans again and I do want to have a little separation between the living room and where like the kitchen area is I don't quite know how I feel about this but yeah we'll try now I do want to see if 
We can still open the doors in the backyard because that's very important. But I think they go outwards, right? Yes, they do go outwards, so that's good. We can definitely still open the doors. This would be so chill if you just like sat here, have the wind coming in. Oh, that would be so amazing. All right, so I did some of the boring work off a camera. Let's see what we have so far. So I really chose neutral colors. I wanted the house to be light and not have like a lot of stuff in it. So it's gonna be quite minimalistic. However, I don't quite know how I feel about the pivoting door as a front door. That's one concern of mine so far. But so far, we have the little kitchen area. So you can have your food right here. Take a quick meal, whatever you want. If you want to eat a banana, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> to get our hygiene up, we can brush our teeth right here in the closet. I don't know why I am so tiny. That's one of the bugs that happened when the overlaid clothing came out. I got really tiny. I'm not a kid though. So that's good for our hygiene. We can also take some fruit from the fruit bowl right here. We have a candle. I still need more candles, but that's something for later. We do have the lemons over here. Fun fact, if you eat a lot of lemons, your face will kind of go sour. Then right here, we have our relaxing couch. I love these windows in the back. You're gonna open them up. That's why I chose concrete for the flooring in the house because I definitely think if I keep this house I will leave this open and have like the outside come in like that I think that will be so nice to see and then we have a small kids bedroom which I still need to decorate further did I just turn off a candle I did and then we have my bedroom right here very light as well and now I will move on to filling in the little patches with some plants and doing the roof because I always struggle with doing roofs gosh and I kind of wish actually that we would be able to add more flowers because right now you will have to add sprinklers if you want to add flowers which kind of sucks so i'm not gonna add any flowers right now kind of sad about that but it's whatever do we still have those tiki torches i wonder okay yes this is what i need for outside this will save me Remember when this compact bush looked like plastic? That was a bad time. Now I do wonder, I'm gonna make it night. I'm scared. Okay, so there's no roof on my house yet, but this is what it looks like at night. This is actually not too dark for an off the grid house. My living room, we still have like a lot of light coming in, which is amazing. However, if we are gonna add a roof on, things are gonna change. So I decided to make one part of the roof a green roof. What that does in real life is it actually absorbs rain so that it, well, doesn't rain inside and stuff like that and it also isolates the heat so when it's super hot outside it won't get as warm inside however what it does in Bloxburg nothing and then of course since an eco-friendly family is living here we are going to go wild with solar panels so what I do to create a solar panels pretty easy to be honest I look for a specific type of tile I think it's the large mosaic tiles and then I paint them like really blue maybe storm blue yeah storm blue that's what I needed and then to make it all a bit more cohesive creating a little shape that like connects the solar panels together and there we go we have some solar panels acting as if we are getting electricity if you do want to add electricity in your house, you can use this as an excuse. <laughs> okay, but now for the actual test, what does it look like? When it's dark outside with all of the candles, I still need to add a little more detail though, but I do want to see what it looks like. You know what? It's actually not bad. I might change the roof to the same wood material just because it looks a little bit weird now. I had to create different shapes of wood or different shapes of roof to count in the glass roofs, but it's actually quite light in here. Wow, I'm surprised. So this, does this have candles yet? No, but it does get some light. And in my bedroom, it's actually not that dark. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. Wow. This is working. All right, so the ceiling does look a lot better like that. It's one big wooden structure now. As you can see, the house looks really nice. I kind of like the colors. It's really light, but I'm thinking of adding more plants because it does look a little bit empty still. Like I get minimalism, but yeah. All right, so I'm not going to do a sliding door here. <laughs> That's obvious. I honestly wish we had more indoor plants. This is kind of sad, actually. And how cute would it be if we actually had a little outhouse? with a toilet inside it. I mean, I know we cannot use the toilet. We don't have electricity, but I still want it something at least. All right, there we go. But we do need a candle in there, obviously. All right, so I think we are ready to tour this house. This is completely off the grid. So if you do not pay your bills, that is fine. You don't have to pay your bills. You can totally live in this without doing that. So anyways, moving on to the house. I did add a car because I felt like that was important. Just some concrete blocks here. I don't know why. I have no excuse for that. So I changed the front door. It's no longer pivoting. It's just a sliding door. I think that's more functional over here. Little hat rack, little um, pillars that 
well, help enhance the rooms a little bit. And over here we have our kitchen, so there's no appliances here because that makes no sense. In an off-the-grid house we do have some candles, and then our toothbrush for our hygiene, and our quick meals for our hunger. And then of course here you will eat your meals. You can close this off if you want to do so. I wow, wooden curtains. Who would have thought? Anyways, moving on. Going through the pillars, we go into the main living area. I love this ceiling window over here. It brings so much light into this area and just it's so vibey sitting here, just like relaxing. This is where you get your fun up as well. So you grab a book, get your fun up. You you like lay in the couch or whatever you want to do. It's really chill. When it's summer, you can open all of these windows so that you can relax here with a nice breeze of wind. Coming in to the house, then moving on to the moss bedroom. I don't quite know how I feel about these torches, so I might actually replace them. I forgot I had a window in here, so I will have to remove that as well. Gosh, there's quite a few errors still with this build, but yeah. We have our closet, then going into the children's bedroom. This is the children's bedroom, very basic as well. So we have our desk, our closet, and then the bed, of course, looking out. Well, to a wall. How amazing is that? But this side is a little bit better. <laughs> you do get sunlight still, which is very important. Going into the backyard, you have just like a main area right here. Just, I don't know, you can chill here. I forgot to actually, wow. You know what? Now that we're here, I'm actually gonna remove this ceiling light over here. We don't need it anymore. Well, not ceiling light, but ceiling window. All right, moving on, going back into the house, going to the backyard. We have this area where you can just chill and do nothing. It's a little covered, so if you want to sit out of the sun, you can do that. Then we have an outhouse. It is not functional if you do not pay our bills, so yeah, I didn't really do much effort in there. We have our swing over here. Just, I don't know, you can chill, relax here, do whatever you want. Little campfire area where you can roast marshmallows with your friends. And then again, if you do not pay the bills, it's unusable, but I do want to have a little bathtub in the backyard. I think that's so cute and really fits the aesthetic of this house. You can also walk around the house completely if you wish to do so. So I made sure that there is a path going around the house. So you feel free to go anywhere you like. Now going into build mode to show you the top view of this house if you want to copy this. If you want to copy this and make it like not off grid or just you want to copy it, feel free to do so. You can totally go ahead and copy it. If you upload it to YouTube or Twitter or whatever, make sure to give me credit if you do so. But if you just use it to play in Bloxburg, sure, go ahead. So this is the top view of the house, as you can see, all pretty much the same color, which I feel like it fits for a house like this. So anyways, I'm going to leave it at this. I hope you enjoyed this build. I definitely enjoyed building. It's been a while. I still suck at coloring stuff. Now, anyways, going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.